everyone. Welcome. My name is Joyce Whitman. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. You can find me at stampinscrapper.com and I'm also on Pinterest, Facebook, um, Instagram, all under Stampin' Scrapper. I'm glad you could join me tonight. Starting today, I started my Merry Christmas Monday. Hi, Kathy. Thank you for joining. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining. I um, started my Merry Christmas Monday series, and I will be doing that for the next seven more weeks. And whatever I do, um, the project that will be on my blog in the morning, it will also be what I will show you in the after evening um, at my Facebook Lives. So today, this was my first project for the series. Isn't this cute? It is a gift card holder. How cute is this? Now this time I did a little bit different colors. Hi Parson, hi Sarah, thank you for joining. I did this a little bit different. Normal colors are you know the greens and the reds and the blues and the silvers. But when we were at uh, Lowe's yesterday, I saw a wreath with these colors and I kind of looked at it, I'm like, hmm, not sure. But this, I stood there and looked at it the more, the more I liked it. So then when I came home to work on this, I thought I'm going to use those colors. So what we're gonna use is this is the um let me show it to you first in the catalog it is in the winter catalog on let me move this off to the side a little bit on page 19 of the holiday catalog we're going to be using the let it snow suite and we're going to be using the stamp set snowman season for our sentiment and that is this one yay of course we had to do snowman first Hello, is there anything else? And then we're also going to be using the Builder Punch. Thank you, Sarah. Um, and then we're going to also be using this um, paper, the Let It Snow paper. Now, this paper is gorgeous. Look at the hats. And did you know that on the punch, I don't know if you can see it because of the, um, what you call it, the lights. But the hat will punch out this hat right here. How cool is that? And I'm going to show you a trick with a punch too in a little bit. And the other side is pretty beautiful. And then we have the little snowman. And this and this is the paper that we are going to be using. I use the back of that. And then look how cute these guys are. And you know what's really cool about this paper? Look at they shimmer, they sparkle. Yes, and then we have these guys. And do you know what? Do you know where? Let me get this out. This little snowman right here came from. Yep, right here. And guess what? Our punch cut punches him out. I'll be showing you that. And on the back side, you get the red dots. And then we have the trees, and we have stripes. And I just finished um, two classes that we use the mittens paper with and this is all I have left out of three packs. Can you tell I like this paper? And on the back it's the striped. So I don't have a big sheet left of any of that anymore. I'm going to have to order more. Okay then we're also going to be using this embellishment kit here and I wanted to show you what comes in that kit. So the cute cute little box. How cute! Okay in here you're going to get now I've punched out some of these because I've used them or I played with them. But you're going to get, this is Shaded Spruce, Coastal Cabana. Oh, there's a red mitten. The real red. Oh, here's another mitten. And this is the um, ah, Florida Flamingo. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out a pair of mittens. We need that. And we need a little hat. And I'm going to punch it out so you can see it. But it also comes with scarves if you wanted to add that on too. You could add that on. So that is definitely lots of different things you could do with different colors. It also comes with this pretty glittery. Um, let's see if I can get it. I don't know if I can. It, it's um, it's like the same color, or almost the snow as what's on the um, paper. And then this, I just went ahead and I punched out out of a clear uh, piece of white paper and shows you. You get this in here and to make your snowman, and that's what. One set will do, and you can make 12 snowmen. And then you also get little um, snowballs. How cute is that? So lots of fun things in this kit. 
that you can use for lots of different projects. So that is what we're going to be doing with that. I mean, I'm going to place these up here so I don't use those while we're creating. So that's what we're going to be using. And also, I'm going to quick show you a couple of things, and then I can get these out of my way too. Okay, so for this snowflake right here, I use the frosted flame frames, and I use the little snowflake right here that comes out too, a big and a small. I just use the little one. So that's where I got my snowflake from. I actually had a bunch of them sitting around, and I thought that was perfect. Put it on. And for the circle here, I used our layering circle framelits, and that's on there. And, um, okay, the other stuff I'm going to show you as we do it. All right, let me get this stuff out of our way. Oh, I wanted to quick show you this with the stamp set. So, on our punch, you can cut out the hat, the arms, and the snowman. Well, at one of my classes, we wanted to do both of these. There's a hat and the snowman. We wanted to stamp them, and we wanted to punch them. Well, how am, was I going to line that up? So, this is what I did. I took it, I punched it out. So now, if I want to do that, all I have to do is go in here and put my snowman like this and put my, like this, and put a block on top of it. Oh, let me grab a block that size. I forgot to grab one. I knew I'd forget to grab something. So what I did was then I just took a block, put it on here like this, voila, you stamp it, and it's going to be perfect. It's going to line up with your punch. How awesome is that? Actually, I think we're going to want to line it up. Let me think here. Did I line it up right? Yes, because we're going, to, we're going to stamp it like this. Yes. And then see, you can put it in here, and it'll line right up for you. So that's a little trick that you could use to line up your punches. And then I just keep this right in with my stamps. So that way it's always there. I don't have to worry about it. We are going to be using the Let It Snow tonight on our project. Okay, so I'll put that over there. All right, so let's get started on our project. These are the pieces that you're going to need. You are going to need a Coastal Cabana at 6 and 3 fourths by 9 and 3 fourths. This is just a scrap piece to do his arms. Let me move it over so you can see him. And then you're going to have a piece of Flirty Flamingo at 2 and 3 eighths by 4 and 5 eighths. Now, I have all these measurements on my blog, so you don't have to quit, write them down. Hi, Mindy. Thank you for joining us tonight. The designer series paper is two and a quarter by four and a half. And then we're going to have a little strip of Costa Cabana at seven eighths by four and three eighths. We got our little guy so we can punch him out. Our window sheet is going to be, I did not measure him. Let me measure. Our window sheet, I didn't write it down. Window sheet is... Four and five eighths by two inches. And I know I did not put this on my blog, so I will go back and put this on my blog. Um, I'm gonna quick, I'm gonna write it down on my paper here. What did I say that was? I know two inches. Four and five eighths. Four and five eighths by two inches. So I will go back and add that on my blog so you guys have that too. And then we need a white for our sentiment. I just used a piece of scrap paper here. And like I said, I had snowflakes already cut out. Had a bunch of them laying around, so that's what we're going to use. Okay, so let's get started making our project. Oh, please, my little pieces. So it goes off to the side if I can pick them up tonight. Put them right there. Okay. All right, we don't need that yet. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do some scoring. So let's get out our score tool. Love this. I'm just going to have to move him off to the side for a minute while we do this. Okay, now on the um, six and three-fourths inch side, you want to use your smaller end because this is cardstock. Now, if we were doing this on designer series paper, you would have to... Um, you, you would want to use the bigger one and not press as hard. But since we're doing 
um, cardstock. We can use the little one. So we're going to score this at one inch and then again at five and three fourths. Turn our paper the long way and we're going to score this at two and three fourths, five and a fourth, six and a fourth, seven and a fourth, eight and a fourth, and nine and a fourth. And that's all the scoring that you need to do. So we're going to put that away. Now, a lot of you know I like to do my cutting before I um, uh, burnish it. it. Just For me, it's just easier. So this is going to be your smallest section right here. So you're going to cut off these two little tabs right here. Go ahead and cut those little buggers off. Then we're going to cut all the way up to this score line. You want to just go to the score line. These are going to be our tabs. And then we're going to cut out all of this right here. We're just going to cut right down this line. And this little piece right here, because it's an inch, is perfect for if you're trying to figure out um, if you don't have the die that I'm using to cut out for my window sheet, this section right here. If you don't have that die that I'm going to use, this is a keep these two pieces, keep these piece, and we're going to do it again on this side because this is perfect, the same size as these, and that is what I practiced on to see if it would work. So you don't have to ruin another piece of your paper. You can just use your scraps from this to practice on. And I did not come up with the design of this box, decorating my box. I did, but um, the design of the box, I did not. I found multiple people had them on Pinterest. So who knows who started it in the beginning, but I'm glad they did. Because this box is just so cute, and you can do so much with it. You could use this for any occasion. You don't have to use it just for Christmas. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to burnish our edges. I mean our score lines. And especially with this box, you really want to make sure you have crisp lines. Oops. Let me think here. No, I don't need to score that one. You do not have to fold this line right here because this is going to come down here. This is what's going to make our pocket. So you do not have to um, put it here. You can just, um, what you call it, put it on, keep it. Now, if you fold it, it's not that big a deal. Don't worry about it. It's okay, but you do not have to burnish that so, last line there. Then do your tabs. There. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to um, cut our section here. And you know what? Before we do that, I am going to quick, I forgot to score. Um, oh, I did already score it. What I did was I scored it at a half an inch on each side here on there on the scoring tool. I couldn't remember if I scored it, and I already scored it, so you guys did. And what you're going to do is you're going to bend it. Now, this is window sheet, so it's, it takes a little bit to get it to bend. But this is where you're going to definitely use your phone folder. And you're going to really push that down. And you're going to do the same thing with the other side. I think I should have scored it a little bit harder. There. 
Okay, so this is going to fit right in. Oops, a little bit. This is going to fit right in our spot that we need. So what we're going to do here is, let me think here. Do, 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 do. Okay, we need to figure out what section this is. So this is, I'm going to just do a dry run. This is what it's going to look like. You're going to bring this up like this. So this is going to be our box for, this is where our Hershey Kisses are going to go. This is where our decorations are going to go. So this is the tab that we want to cut on. So what I do is I, I'm like, okay, that's the one I want to use. I put a little X on this outside tab. You're not going to see it because it's going to be tucked in. So I put it there so I knew, okay, that's where I need to cut my um for my window sheet so what we're going to need to do double check i want to make sure where i cut if i want that one cut tab perfect okay so now i'm going to bring in my big shot and i'm going to show you how i cut this move this up a little bit oops okay so we're going to take this, and remember this is our tab, so I know where I'm going to do it. But now, once I get this on, you're going to have to tuck your tabs in to get it to go through. But this is where we want to, and this is the one I'm going to use. This is from our Merry Christmas set of dies. I'm going to use this big die right here. But this, if you look on here, is a lot smaller than what I made it, and I'll show you what I did. So... I'm going to put it on here, and I'm going to put it kind of how much space I want. So if you look here, I only wanted about a half an inch on each side there. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up. Now, because this is where I want it exact and I don't want it to move, I'm going to come in with my Post-it note tape. You can get this on Amazon, Walmart. It's just Post-it note tape, and it comes on a... a holder like this love it and you can use this multiple times so i'm doing this backwards so <laughs> bear with me i'm used to doing it on this side okay so we put it there and i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to tape it down i know it's right where i want it and it's not going anywhere so i'm going to tuck these in put my top piece on and send it through Okay, so uh, now I will take this off, and you can see I got that part done. But I wanted to go over further, so this is how you're going to do it. And if you want, you could save this, put it on a sentiment, put a sentiment on it, and there you go. You got another sentiment to use, a uh, piece of paper to use. So what you're going to do here is, you're when you line it up, you're going to feel it fit right inside here the lines. So you want to make sure it's lined up. I want to go about a half inch again from that side because that's what I want on this side. So I put it there. Again, I'm going to use my tape because I don't want this to move. I put it right there. Okay, and then we're going to bring it in again. And we're going to cut it again. Thank you, Jennifer, for joining today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this one off. And see, we have a perfect spot. That is what's so nice about any of our um, dies that are shaped like this. You can make them smaller, you know, make them bigger. It's kind of hard to make them smaller, but you can make them bigger. Put that over there this back on here so I don't lose it okay all right so we got that done and this is going to fold in so you're not going to see that X but if it bothers you you can definitely take it off 
So now what I want to do is I want to do with my window sheet just to make sure I have it folded right. And it is going to fit. Oh, yep, it will fit perfect in there. Okay, so what I did was to get this on here, I'm going to put, use some tearing tape today. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on my tearing tape. I mean, on my um, window sheet. Whoops. And I'm going to. And I press it pretty hard on here. Do it again. And you could probably put it on your paper. I don't know why. I just did it on the window sheet. But you could do it really whichever way you want to. And then I'm going to also put a piece right here. So we'll go ahead and use our and tape. And remember my little trick, if you have an old credit card, take it, run it down, and then rip it, and you have a straight rip because me and my OCD-ness, I couldn't stand when I ripped it that it did not have a straight edge there. That drove me bonkers. Okay, so that's going to line up there. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to push these down just a little bit because if they are small, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with those. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take liquid glue and I'm gonna put it on the very edge and I'm going very light with this. Because I don't want it to seep out. So I'm going very light and then I'm gonna put some here on the edges. Okay. And I'm going to peel off my turn tape. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here. I'm just Make sure you guys can see this. I'm just lining this up with the liquid glue first. And then I'm going to bring this up. And I'm bringing this one up. Now I'm not pressing hard yet on here. Because I just want to make sure. And again, I keep doing, I do a lot of dry runs to make sure it lines up. Before I push anything hard. Yep, that looks great. Pushing that on so it adheres. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to push it down real hard because that's exactly where I want it. Okay. Now we're also going to be taping this. But before we do that, we need to do some decorating first. So we're going to take our... Oops, let me get this. Oh, come here. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to put on our... Designer series paper on top of our flirty flamingo. Oh, let go. Remember to do the trick if all get all three of these sides lined up the same distance apart. Put your fingers here and drop it, and it's going to be perfectly lined up for you. We're going to go ahead and adhere this to this panel right here. And you want it up this, again, do your three sides. So we're going to do this side, this side, and this side. Make sure they're the same distance. You have the same border. And then drop it. Now you're going to have this little bit down here. That's okay. You want that because you're going to be bringing this up. And that's actually going to go right underneath this. We're going to be lining it up right with that. See how it goes right underneath? the um, flirty flamingo paper. So, but before we can adhere this, we need to take our one inch punch. Now, if you forget to do this, how do I know that? Because I forgot to do it the first time I made this. 
if you forget to do this, you can do this, um, but you're going to have to turn it this way to get it in. So it's a little bit harder to judge where you're going to put it, but this way you can do it beforehand. You're going to flip it over. I only go in about halfway. So I'm trying, I'm centering it on here on my Florida Flamingo, going in about halfway. That looks good. And punch. Now you're going to probably have to punch a little bit harder because you're going through three pieces of paper, two card stack and one designer series paper. Okay, so now we can adhere this. So for this, I'm using um, liquid glue. You could use the tear and tape if you want to, but I knew I just wanted a little bit of glue here and here on this edge. So you're going to do it on the edge opposite of your circle that you cut out, your half circle, and on the very bottom because you want to make sure you have enough room to put your credit card in there. So you want to make sure you have that. So bring this down and seal it. Like I said, you could probably use tear and tape too. Okay, and then I did another test run. Yep, that fits perfect in there. We're good to go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere this part here. So I'm going to bring this around and I'm going to line this. I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm bringing this around and again, don't put it on tight. Just lay it gently on there. If you put it on there gently, you can take it off, even though this tape is strong. And you're going to line it up with the bottom. Okay, i got to flip it this way. I can't do it left-handed, sorry. I'm going to line it up. Okay, there we go. Okay, so see how I put it even there? And you want to look at your side. Does it look even? Oh, we need to go down just a little bit. So I need to go a little bit under it this time. That looks good. I just want a hair underneath it. Okay, so look at it. Does it look good? It looks square. And then, so what I'm going to do is take my bone folder, and I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to press that down real well. Because we want to make sure it's going to stick. Okay, so now you can go on this end. Freeze. Okay. On this end, we're going to go ahead and close it. And because this is a front, this is the last tab you want to put in there. And I do, again, I dry run to make sure that it's all going to fit in there nicely. It does. So I used the liquid glue on this too. Put this one in first. Hold it there for just a second. The liquid glue you have to hold for just a little bit for it to adhere. And then we're going to put this one on. Okay. So that's how to do the box part of your gift card holder. Now, let's decorate this little thing. Okay, so we need to do our sentiment. We'll go ahead and get that stamp. I'm going to be using, um, um, oh my goodness, Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to use the Let It Snow. And I'm just using a scrap piece of paper. Um, I know I got, here we go. My simple chamois out and clean my stamp off because we don't want it to be open and you close your ink pad right away too so you do not get it on your projects ask me how I know that because I've done that too I just use the one inch one and a half inch circle punch punch that out and we're going to adhere that to our circle that we cut out. Flirty Flamingo with the layering circles, dies. And I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of that. 
Oops, I found my minutes. Here we go. And I'm putting two on there just to make sure. We're going to leave those out because we're going to use our minis and our um, big ones on our snowman. So on our snowman, I cut him smaller so I could get him in here. And we're going to take our punch. And you're going to slide him in. And he is going to fit right in there. Now you can use your hand to move him around like I am. Or you can use your take your pick. And what I do is I line him up first to make sure he's where I want him. And then I'm only putting him down little. I'm only squeezing. It's a gentle squeeze. I haven't cut any part of him yet to make sure this is exactly where I want him. Or her, I should say. And then I punch. And there you go. And look how perfect that he punches out or she. We'll call her a girl today because we're putting pink on her. Okay, so now you're going to take your punch again, and we're going to use this um, scrap of this is early espresso, and this measures seven eighths inch is perfect because you're going to just line it up here, punch two out, and you're ready to go. All done. So we have our two arms. So let's get um, let me get this out so we can start playing and getting her assembled. Okay, so I'm going to put the arms on first, and I'm putting this on my silicone craft mat because I don't want the tape to go on to this paper, then everything gets sticky, and nothing sticks to your silicone craft mat. And did you know what this is really good for? When you use a hot glue gun, because your glue will go on here when it dries, you just pull it off and throw it away, and you're good to go. Okay. Oops, I just noticed her little arms are coming off because I kept playing with her. Okay, now we're going to put our little mittens, oh, I lost a mitten, on here. Now, this is where I used the mini glue dots, or not mini glue dots, mini um, dimensionals. Get this out. I want my other edge. I want the pointer part. Okay, so... I'm going to put one on each of the mittens on the back. And I put it more up towards the front because of this here. I'm going to be putting some of this on here. But I wanted the dimensionals because I'm going to pop the body up. So I wanted these popped up too. Again, I'm going to go up more towards the top. I think, did I put two on her? Oh, I only did one. Okay. There. Okay, let's put, I used the big ones for the back of the snowman. And now I did put quite a bit on. I used three on the snowman. You could probably use two. I get a little dim, uh, dimensional happy on here. Okay, so we're going to bring this over here. And we're going to put around first. I'm just going to move her over like this. And go in this direction. There we go. And then I'll put her hat on. Now what I'm going to do is also just put a little bit of snail on the bottom of her hat. Just to help put it on there. But it's going to stay on with the dimensional. Again, don't push it down hard until you know exactly where you want it. And then you can push it down harder. Snail adhesive again. Just a little bit, just to help hold it onto the hand. This one's going to go on this side. And this one's going to go over here. Well, get on there. There. 
Now we can push her down because I really like where she's at. Okay, again, we're going to go ahead now and put on our Let It Snow. Now for my snowflake, whoops, I should probably put that on first. I'm just going to use a glue dot. And because the center is kind of skinny right here, I'm going to cover it up, but I'm still going to go ahead and fold this mini glue dot in half. Turn it there. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the corner first. And then I'm going to put my sentiment on. Okay. And then in the center, I am going to use one of the glitter enamel dots. I forgot I had these and I actually used them on a card for at our team meeting on Saturday. And I thought these would look great here and I played with it and I'm going to use the smallest one. Whoops, try to put it on the same one. And it works perfect. Okay, so we have that part done. Put that in there. Now, where's the cap? Okay. I have to clean up my space a little bit here because I cannot function with all of this stuff around here. Okay, done with the dimensionals. No, that's my sample. All right, now, how do we get the Hershey Kisses in there? This is where this piece comes in. One person asked me today, why do you have this piece? This is why. So it will hold five Hershey Kisses. So to hold them into place, I put a glue dot on the bottom of each one. So what I did was, you gotta be careful taking them off, but I just kinda, I kinda eyed it. I didn't measure it exact, but I put one in the middle first. Come on, stick on there. And then I put the other ones on. Now, we want this to look nice. We don't want our Hershey Kisses going all over the place, do we? So that's why I am putting it on here like that. And then you just open this up and guess what? These will slide in here perfectly. There you go. And look it, they sit perfect, they won't fall all over. Now, how are we gonna close this in? So what we're gonna do is go ahead and I'm gonna do a dry run and make sure it closes nice. Yep, but we don't want to seal that because how are they gonna get it out? So what you're gonna do is I have 28 inches of the white um, silver edged metallic ribbon. And I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this around like this. Now, I'm not the best bow maker, I'll tell you that. They laugh at me at classes because I use the bow maker because, or I'll do a cheater bow. But I have been practicing, trying to do this. So we're gonna go, well, and I watched a couple videos on YouTube on how to do this. So right over left. And we pull it, hey, get back down now. And you're gonna pull it going this way, up and down. So once I got that on, then I flipped it up like this. I might have made this a little too long, but hey, it's okay. You know what? This oh, that's not some of it. Move that over a little bit. And I will say this part, unless you're really good at this. It will take a little bit, so you're going to see me on the struggle bus on this. But I'm going to try it. Okay, right over left. Come here. There we go through. Okay. Let me pull up and over. Ah! You know, I didn't struggle this much when I did it the first time, and I thought, thought to myself, this is going to happen on my Facebook Live. I'm going to struggle putting this bow on. Okay. So we're going to lift it up, and then we're going to make our loop. Bring it around. 
Hey, stay there. Please walk. I can grab the right one. My nails are getting too long too, so that doesn't help it at all. Okay. There. Hey, it worked, guys. It worked. Woohoo! Woohoo! I only struggled for a little bit on that bus. There we go. You can play with it, make it smoother. Yeah. But I will take. Ah! This little arm just came off because I hit it. So you just stick them back on. There. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to trim it. And I have my ribbon scissors. Now, one thing I did do to kind of hold it in place a little bit when I was taking pictures and stuff, I did put, uh, oh, I know I didn't end up doing it because I was like, wait a minute, we got to slide it off. But you could, if you needed to, put like a little piece of the removable tape out until you get it where you wanted and then take that off. And let's go. Let's see, I kind of want it to hang down a little bit. Okay, let's do this one first. There we go. Okay, and there you go. There's and your gift card will slide in right here. How cute is that? Isn't that cool? Okay, so that is the Hershey Kiss gift card holder. If you would be so kind as to share this video, I would really appreciate it. And thank you very much for stopping in today. And I will be back next Monday with another Merry Christmas Monday um, project. And I'll do the Facebook Live at night. And you guys have a great evening. Thank you for stopping in. Love you. There you go.